Hey guys, welcome to a new video in Sticky Hall. Today we are on a bit of a witch hunt. Don't know if you know, but this island is known for its healers and witches. So yeah, we're gonna go find them. Before we go and find the witches, we're going to the ancient, old, enchanted Baliti tree. It's one of the oldest trees, I think, in the country, 400 years old. Yeah, it's got a natural spring running underneath it that no one really knows why. It adds to the mystery of the uh, of the island, doesn't it? Yeah, there's a bit of a, there's a fish spa as well. We've got the fish that could eat the dead skin of the All the, the crap of your feet. Not personally a fan of that, but um, I might dip, dip a toe. I'll dip a toe. Not two things that go together, I don't think, but <laughs> here we go. actually be free to go to the Belitti tree but it's now 20 pesos each which is all good I guess really it's good. to like keep up with the maintenance of the um, the place and here it is wow so the water does come from under a stream under the tree apparently yeah and they, they don't actually know how it how it works that's do crazy they? yeah because obviously that's where it goes down you know wow so I didn't realise that obviously they have these trees, but you said about 800 around the country. 80. But 80? Yeah. Oh, okay. And then about 10 of them are named or something like that. But apparently they are the where they are because of this parasitic Nature. fig. Fig. I can't remember the name of it, but it t attaches to the host tree, strangles, strangles it, death, which is yeah. kind of crazy. Because we've seen a few of these trees around Asia as well, but I didn't know that they were they're... parasites. Yeah. You know, dip your feet in the spa. The spa is free as well. It's yeah, quite funny because when you're in when you're in Thailand or something like that, you have to pay maximum price for a, for a spa like this. Yeah, and this is well. I mean, you pay an entrance fee of twenty pesos. So that's nothing. Have you had one before? You haven't had never, one before, have you? Never, never, never. Go on then. Now's the day. I, I, Today's I the day. I don't actually like my feet being touched. No, it's so. not that bad. It's not. It's really like not that bad. You should do it. Flip flops are coming off. That means we're debating it. Go on, let's do it. Ah, no. no! Go on, do it, do it, do it, do it. This is sit, horrible. Sit, sit, sit there. Sit there. There you go. <gasps> no, look, there was a, look at the big ones. I don't yeah. want the big ones near me. The big ones won't, won't do it. It's the little one. Ow. See? <gasps> no way. That's not <laughs> nice. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I've probably had a chomp on my fur. Oh, no. You'll go, you'll go. No, I've done it before. No, come on. The thing is, when you've got scabs on your feet, because I've, I've picked a mosquito by on my foot, basically, when you've got like scabs or anything like that, they, they naturally go for dead skin, so they will just eat the scabs off your feet. I can't do it. Sorry. Sorry viewers, not for me. They also have like a bunch of souvenirs, some little shops and stuff. There's a cafe as well, you can get some food. Yeah, it's a nice little place to hang about. Very brief though, isn't it? It's not really yeah. an awful lot to do, but it's cool seeing the tree. Apparently it's rumored, apparently in the early hours of the morning that fairies or elves come out and like Those worship the tree. Yeah. They have like little cutouts over there you can put your heads in. Of like demons and stuff. Yeah, look. <laughs> <laughs> Why has he got a massive cigar? <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Pretty cool. <laughs> when the Spanish were here and they used this island as a port. There were some sailors that got sick and they went to the locals to get some remedies off of them. That's when they found out that they practiced witchcraft here. So they ended up avoiding the people. And that's when I think they believe that this island was dubbed the Island of Witches. We're going to try and find one now. Aren't we? We are indeed. Let's go. We've arrived. We're in the middle of nowhere. It was about 45 minutes to, to find this place, didn't it? But we are here, so let's see what... It's what's... about 6 p.m. though, so I'm a bit worried they're going to be closed, aren't they? But are they closed? Are I they don't know. know. There's like literally no information other than just a pin drop where to go, isn't there? But we do know that we're right. We're, we're here because the sign is the sign we saw on Google, isn't it? We've arrived at the Gila, or Manunambao, is that what they call it in the local language? Just signed in. And yeah, I think it's going to be with smoke, you said. Yeah, I think it's called Balo, Balo, Balo. It's like with smoke to get rid of evil spirits and stuff like that. Yeah, it's going to be really interesting. And on the wall, it's just some of the people that have come here, I suppose, yeah. 
So these guys are part of like the uh, sustainable tourism and um, it basically it's been put together. It provides a livelihood to like the local healers of the island here and also to like prevent preserve the tradition of, of like traditional healing which is really cool but here it's um fumigation and massage which will the process we're going to be mm -hmm. so apparently this process gets rid of um ailments and restores health and getting rid of um negative energy Cool. It's amulet uh, oh all God. around in the trouble. Oh wow. Yeah, it's good. And the special word insecure. Yeah, it's nice and the coconut shell. Oh. The special coconut shell put inside there and this one? No. no. It's natural coconut, it's three hold. This oh. one is no hold. It's good, yeah. It's the coconut uh, in the Tagni Pass in the tree. Oh, I see. Yes, this one is a big. You put inside there. Oh, I see. Yeah, this um, oh, and the nice sea. The, yeah, the shell. Really yeah. Nice. This one is the La Potion. Oh, it's the La Potion. Ah, one. La Potion yeah, in the business and the world. Wow. That's nice. Yeah, we've heard about this. We've heard about it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, put inside in perfume. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Wow. This is as good in the work. This one, the same. So nice. Yeah, this is name of uh, Bisaya is Lumai. Lumai. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, name of Bisaya. Oh, Language right. of Bisaya. Oh, and right. Lumai. Ah, nice. Lumai and Love Potion. Love wow. Potion. Yeah. Okay. This one is rub in the massage, put inside and BB oil and coconut oil. Mm. Yeah. Oh. You mix yeah, this it. One. Ooh, that's also interesting. Yeah, Do you yeah. sell it? Oh, that sounds nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, different kinds of uh, ginger. Oh, right. Ginger. Smell of it now as well. Very relaxing, though. Yeah, I don't know what that stuff it? was that was on there. But um, yes, let's uh, give you our final thoughts when we get outside. Yeah. So we've actually come back to the Belitti tree, Belitti tree, Belitti tree, Belitti tree. Um, thought it'd be a nice way to round up this uh, video. Let us know, let you know what we thought. It's been about an hour since we had um, the traditional healing, and I uh, still feel like I've got uh, all the evil cells that I had beforehand inside me, uh, but no all jokes aside, really interesting experience, I think it's really important to keep those parts of culture alive, whether you believe in it or not. Really cool experience, the guy was lovely, yeah, we'd recommend it, it was really cool. There's multiple types of medicines here, there's Bono Bono, which is, or Bono Bono, which is the most popular one, which is the breathing of smoke into, or, or bubbling of water like around your body that's supposed to cleanse you of evil spirits as well. And then the one that we had, which I actually found was Two Ob, Two Ob, which I, I originally thought was Bono Bono, but it wasn't. Yeah. 10 out of 10 for the experience. So the ritual began when you're sat on top of a bowl of ashes that's collected only on Black Saturday and then it's with a concoction of herbs as well which is meant to prevent evil spirits attaching themselves to you I assume. 
afterwards he uh, drapes cloth around you and um, before he completely closed it around you he chanted something into into the bowl and you just sat there soaking in the, the fumes basically. in the fumes basically about five to ten minutes or during this he um, puts a cross of oil on your uh, forehead both temples and the back of your neck and yeah and if you want as well you can also get a massage from him after which that did, didn't you, yeah. which I opted for he used the um, organic coconut oil on my arms and then massage all my fingers and then he said the part between my thumb and my index is connected to your stomach apparently that was good i suppose to like massage that area for good gut health i suppose and then on my back and my stomach he used like this turmeric paste for the massage because yeah it was an interesting experience to be honest so yeah he actually starts off by like taking your pulse um, and then he, he looked at me and said oh yeah very good I wasn't too sure whether he was just saying it's very good because my heart was still beating or whether it was a health reason. All around the room there's like um, vials of potions and like an altar which has got like Mary and a lot of Christian statues and things like that. When Sabrina had hers done, they actually the, the guy actually kind of did like a bit of a prayer beforehand. I think he did the same with me but I couldn't really couldn't really tell. You can also buy like a love potion and amulets as well if you want to um, for a bit of extra luck. He said like during your travels, which is super interesting. The whole thing's actually completely donation based so you can you can essentially pay whatever you want. We gave 300 pesos which seems fair. I don't know kind of how much you're supposed to pay for something like that. I thought the whole process was pretty interesting to be fair. I mean we walked into it not really knowing what was going to happen or anything but I don't know I mean I obviously don't really feel any different but I don't know I might feel different tomorrow. I don't know how these things work but I think it was cool to kind of like immerse yourself into something that takes place on this island you know. It's a big reason why people come here. I do think you should go check out the guy that we went to or other healers on the island as well. And if you like this video, give it a like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in more Filipino adventures.